Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Eric C. Kahn, wherever he may be, remains in the hot seat with federal officials. Now others may be in the hot seat as well. The FBI revealed this morning that alleged co-conspirators in Kahn's escape may face charges as early as Monday. The FBI also updated the case this morning during a press conference in Louisville. We've been pursuing all investigative leads to include conducting interviews of Mr. Khan's family, friends and associates, reviewing emails and social media posts purportedly originating from Mr. Khan, and we've been talking with his attorney in an effort to convince Mr. Khan to turn himself in. And yesterday, the FBI, KSP, and Social Security Administration personnel executed a search warrant at the residence of Mr. Khan's mother in Pikeville. His law office and a vehicle were also searched. And currently, we're examining all of the items that were seized. And on Monday, we will undertake further action with the expectation that charges against additional co-conspirators, including family members and associates of Eric Khan, will likely follow. We continue to narrow the focus of our investigation into Mr. Khan's whereabouts and will bring all available resources to bear until he's found. When defendants violate the terms of their plea agreement, it's the common practice of the prosecution to reconsider certain aspects of the agreement. This case is no different, and all options are being discussed. And anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of Mr. Khan is asked to call the Louisville FBI office at 502-263-6000. This is an important case. This is probably one of the most important cases that we are working today. There are currently no plans to increase the reward offered for Khan's arrest. Reporting from the FBI headquarters in Louisville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.